Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about school supplies. We are about two weeks away from our school's opening. So far, as of today, they are opening in-person instruction. I don't know if they will actually start in person in two weeks because things are changing and uh, coronavirus cases are going up in our area. But uh, for now, they have said they're going to open in person and we just went school supply shopping. We did that at Target. I will actually link everything we got below or everything I can below, but I will do a haul of everything we got as well at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But for now, what we are going to do is a couple of projects with the school supplies. We like to get school supplies in a color scheme for my daughter and my son doesn't really care. We just go to Target and look and see what they have and then try to get stuff that matches. But um, she got turquoise, white, black, and then gold accents. And so we got everything we could in that and then everything that we couldn't get in those colors, we are going to decorate. So we are gonna work on a few things today and then at the end, I will show you everything that we purchased. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first project we're going to do is work on these composition notebooks. These are actually used books. They were from the past couple of years, but when they come home at the end of the year, usually only a few pages are used. So we just tear those out and we're going to make these over today. So I have a couple of scrapbook papers that I already had, so this isn't going to cost me anything, but these are the colors I chose in order to match the other ones we actually bought. I'm gonna use some spray adhesive. This is just 3M general purpose. You can use anything really. And then I'm also going to use this tape. It is duck brand mirror tape and it's gold. You could use washi tape or any kind of decorative tape, but this is gonna be what I use on the binding of the notebooks. And you can see it matches really well with the ones we bought. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go out to the outside if you can, or at least a well-ventilated area if you're gonna use spray adhesive. So I just went outside and I'm spraying the entire back of the scrapbook paper and then I'm just putting it on the notebook and I'm not cutting it to size first, I'll do that afterwards. Now that the paper is all stuck on, I'm just going to cut around the cover of the notebook and get as close to the edge as I can. I like to do it this way just because I know I'm going to get the cleanest line up against the edge. And as you can see, it's perfect. So I'm going to do that with both of these. So this next step is optional, but I really want these to hold up well throughout the year. So I have this clear contact paper that I already had. You can get this at Walmart for just a couple of dollars. I'm gonna cut a piece off of this and I'm gonna cover the top of this notebook. So I'm actually, I cut it bigger than the notebook because I'm gonna wrap it around the edges. And I just think that this will make this last all throughout the year especially when it's being pulled in and out of backpacks and shoved in shelves and things like that. You really want these kinds of things to last. School supplies always get so beat up. I'm cutting out the corners so that they don't overlap when I wrap it. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around the edges and press it down. Since the corners are round, I am just gonna cut off the excess contact paper and then I'm moving on to the binding. So I'm just taking one piece of tape and I'm going across the very top of the binding first. I just thought that this would work for the tape staying on the best. So I'm doing the very top first and I'm just gonna press it down and then I'm gonna go along the top and the bottom of the cover and finish off the binding with this gold tape.
for this next project, we're just going to add a little bit of decor to these plain binders. We wanted these binders to go with the other school supplies she bought. So we picked up some scrapbook paper from Michael's. You can get scrapbook paper at Walmart and also Hobby Lobby. I'm measuring the dimensions of the top of this binder and then I'm just cutting the paper to size and all I'm going to do is slip it in. This is such a simple and easy way to decorate and dress up your school supplies. So I love to be able to do this to plain binders. The second kind of scrapbook paper we got is this one. It's clear and it's got gold dots on one side and rose gold on the other. And we're using this on a white binder, which is really cool because you'll get the white background on this clear. So I took some time and made the labels, some labels for all the notebooks and binders. And so we're gonna go ahead and put those on each one now. If you're looking to do something like this with your school supplies, but you don't have a craft cutter like I do, you can order these kinds of stickers on um, Etsy. And then also Amazon has letter stickers and even craft stores have letter stickers or you could do something like markers or paint if you wanted to do that. But there's tons of different ways to personalize notebooks without having a craft cutter. It's just, I have one, so it's easy for me to do it this way. Right, guys now that we are done with all the decorating I'm going to share with you everything that we got for our school supplies this year uh, my daughter's going into sixth grade so this is the first year she'll actually have to switch classes uh, between subjects so all of her subjects required separate notebooks and binders and or binders she needed three one inch binders so we found this one like I said we did all of our school supply shopping at Target also there's quite a bit of stuff that we already had at the end of each school year anything that comes home that is gently used or not used I will save for the next year so when we go to do school supply shopping we always go through that stuff first use whatever we can and then buy anything else we need so you'll see some stuff that is not packaged and not necessarily brand new but it still works for school so was the first binder she got it is like a teal with some gold and then I just did the subject name in gold and her name in gold also uh, the next one we found is this it's like an off-white with gray and then there's like gold polka dots on it and I went ahead and did um, teal for the words on it and her name it's navy on the inside this one's so pretty then we couldn't find any more patterned ones so we got this plain white one as you saw I put the uh, scrap of paper in there to make it match with the other stuff and we named that one Spanish and that one turned out kind of cute and you can see like when they're together they all kind of go and then she needed a two inch uh, binder again we couldn't find a nice patterned one so we got black and then just added the scrap of paper to this this is for writing and literature next she needed five composition notebooks so we got this it's actually a hardback which is really kind of cool because composition notebooks I feel like get really torn up through the year so this one I think will last really well so I went ahead and did writing and literature in black on this. It probably would have been better in white. Like you can see that the lettering on the back is white. 
And then we also got this one. This one is also the five star brand um, and it's got a hard plastic cover. So this one I think will last really well too and hold up really well. So I just did teal on that for writing and literature and her name. Um, you saw this one I decorated for her. Uh, so this was like the original kind of composition notebook and then I put the leopard paper on there. We're doing this for science. Then we found this one again. It is also the Mead Five Star brand and it does have a plastic cover as well. I really, really like these, but they're expensive. It was $3.50 for this composition notebook, which is like way more than I ever normally spend. I think the most I ever spend is a dollar. But like I said, we have quite a few things that we already had, so I didn't have to buy her very much this year. So that worked out fine. Um, and then I did teal for the lettering on that one. And then this one you saw that I decorated, again, was the regular composition notebook. And we did gold social studies on that one. She also needed three packs of paper. We already had these still unused. They just come home at the end of the year, sometimes unused. So we did those. She needed nine dividers, plastic dividers with the pockets. I couldn't find what we needed at Target that was like with the pockets and everything um, or in the number that we needed. So I ended up getting these on Amazon. I'll link those below as well. She only needed nine. It came with I think it's three packs of five. So it actually came with 15. It's a lot extra, but these are ones you just write on directly onto instead of having the paper that you fill out and whatever. But they're nice, like good plastic ones instead of the paper ones like normally come. So I think these will last really well throughout the year and they've got like reinforced holes, which is a big deal when you're putting those in binders and using them all the time. So I think these are hold up really, really well. I can't remember what brand they were, but, um, I'm really happy with the quality of them. So again, I'll link those below. They were inexpensive. I think it was less than $10 for the 15. She needed two folders. One was just a two pocket folder. So I we got her this one and this actually matches this notebook that she got. So we did black music on that one. It's just the two pocket and it does have three holes. It's just, I haven't popped them out. And then she needed another folder that had the three prongs. So we just got her this one. It's five star brand. And then it's just got the two pockets and the three prongs. She also needed index cards. They could be lined or unlined. We already had unlined ones in my school supplies. So we went ahead and did that. So we didn't have to buy those. She needed a roll of scotch tape. So we got this from Target. It was on sale for 99 cents. She needed two packs of pencils. The other one's downstairs. I forgot to bring it up, but I already had those as well from Staples from a couple years back. They sometimes just come home with their, at the end of the year with school supplies. So I did not have to buy those. She needed a pack of colored pencils. So we just got these. I think they were 65 cents from Target. A pack of crayons. We already had those as well. So she had that. She needed red, blue, and black pens. These are again, ones that are extra that just we have in our drawers already. So you can tell that they're different brands and styles. She just picked out whichever kinds she liked from our drawer and three of each color and that will get her through the year. And if she needs any more, we have a ton more anyway. She needed a ruler. We already had this one. It's actually bendable. She's used it for a couple of years and it's held up. So why not? And it also matches her little color scheme. She needed two erasers. We had a package of this. It was actually new in the package, but she must have opened it up. But um, they were just sitting in our school supplies. We did not have to buy those. She needed seven, six to seven Expo markers and they wanted them to be the fine tip. But we had these already um, that hadn't been used. Some of them were still in a package and some of them just have been barely used. So she's gonna take those. They needed highlighters. We're supposed to have three different colors. We had a couple of highlighters, but I told her she could get a couple of things that were just fun this year since we didn't have a lot to buy most of the stuff we already had. She picked out these. Um, they are Pilot brand. They are like a erasable highlighter and they're pastel. They're really, really cool. As you can see, they have like a really nice flat, fine tip. And then the eraser on the bottom, I don't think it wears away, but it just erases it by friction. It's pretty cool. So there's five of those. She already opened it because she couldn't wait. 
And then I let her go ahead and get pencils. The other pencils that she got, they usually will have like be community pencils that are shared if somebody doesn't have a pencil or breaks one or whatever. Uh, they have those, so I let her donate the wooden pencils and then if she wants something else, we get them. So this is one of the fun things she chose were these mechanical pencils. They have like a twistable eraser, so it's actually a big eraser, which is pretty cool. And she can refill the lead when they run out. She needed 10 glue sticks, so we got this pack of 12. I think it was on sale for like $3.99, which is a really good price. And she always goes through them, so we will put the extras in our school supply drawer. And I think we have two or three down there also, so she'll have another five that she can use throughout the year if she needs to. Then she needed scissors. We again had these already and they match, so why not? <laughs> And then she needed a zippered pencil case. We could not find a zippered pencil case that actually worked for her as far as like matching her other stuff and nothing that she even liked that she didn't care if it didn't match. So we went over into the makeup section and found this. So it is technically a makeup pouch, but it goes perfectly with it. It's black with the gold. It's Ruby Cash brand. It says inspire, dream, create, and the inside is just black. So. It's just as good as any other pencil case we were going to get. So that is what we got. is everything for our school supplies decorating and haul i hope you enjoyed this if you did leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i post every tuesday and friday so there's always new things to see thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.